Hello. Welcome to my tiny boat studio. It's been three months now since I bought this little boat and have been fitting it out. So it's time for some music. It's a simple setup, but I've got it pretty cozy in here now. It's not quite finished yet, but I couldn't resist. I had to tidy up, sweep all the dust away and bring in the instruments, bring in the soft furnishings and just make some music. And I wanted to share something with you guys, share a part of my process, maybe in a way that I haven't done before. I'm going to be building a song today, writing a song, creating a song. I have an idea and I'm going to record it and put some layers onto it and develop it a little bit. And I'm going to show you the process of me doing this. Um, it is improvised, it isn't scripted, so I don't know quite how it's going to go. Um, it may not work at all, but it's quite an exciting prospect to do something different. Let's go on with it. <laughs> So that is my initial idea. I've got a few more to follow on from there, so I'm going to go ahead and start recording. I've put the first guitar track down. This song is split into three sections. Let me show you those now. So my initial idea was this. A nice strolling, finger-picked part, very folky, very peaceful, that's the kind of vibe that we're going with today. But to create some more space for the vocals and to make it a little bit easier for myself with the picking, when the vocals come in, the part simply becomes... <laughs> occurred to me to insert this nice little run into the verse. So that's the verse and then to go into like the chorus type section. We're given these parts names but it's one section into another. I wanted to create a chord change and so I looked around until I found something that worked. I did another little run. As I'm playing it, little melodies start finding themselves into my head already. So there we have two main parts. A third part is welcome. Something to like let the song meander a bit before it returns to the beginning. And so for that I did this. off that, it occurred to me to do this. And that's pretty much it. I'm just writing lyrics as I go along today. I've got a main melody in mind and words are falling into my head so I'm jotting them down and then I'm gonna do a take in a moment. This song, as with quite a few of my other songs right now, the aim is to create a sense of peace and relaxation and to put the listener into another state of consciousness of leaving cares behind and just really losing themselves in the music and then coming out the other side and feeling like, whoa, what happened there? If I've achieved that, then it's worked. So the lyrics reflect that. 
they're sort of dreamy, a bit vague and nonsensical, but they're like little symbols to like trigger your mind into a state of relaxation and maybe contemplation. It's funny for me to vocalise how I write lyrics because I don't do it to anybody that often, so this is the first time. So I've written, even the scales, balance, heavens in the wailing, the wind taking a message deeper and deeper into your soul. So that's about creating a balance within ourselves and knowing that even in some bad things there is still beauty and learning and, and the wind taking the message, that's sort of like messages from other dimensions and the divine. And those messages are moving deeper and deeper into your soul. And then it says cliffside snowfall, which is a reference to a dream that I had and it just, those words just conjured that image for me and I'm translating that to you. And then the next part is what you carry, a heart diamond in your breast pocket, please get it out. And that means that we all have something amazing to share with the world, but not many of us do it. Even if what we're sharing is just kindness or a smile, it's what the world needs more of. So it's in the song. The next verse is Turning the face, the vast platter of dimensions. O oh, calm, you choose my fruit, knowing I'm ready for the dream, lucid. <laughs> so that means that there are many worlds out there and every world we all have our own world we all live in our own world and we choose what world we live in and what these lyrics are asking is for us to choose a good world to choose a world that is pleasant because we all have the power to do that even in hard times and i'm asking calmness to help me choose my fruit because i'm ready for the dream for the lucid dream now I'm going to record some vocals and other instruments some of this song. Please let it out. Hey, and this is a shruti box. I haven't actually recorded with this before. try. Some claps. Now we're going to have a full playthrough of what I've recorded. I hope you enjoy it.
Okay, that's it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. This is the first video quite like this that I've done. It's the first video I've done in this boat project. So please stay tuned for more. Expect more because there will be more. There may be gaps. It's probably not going to be weekly, sadly. But I do want to do them more. I know that you guys enjoy them. And I enjoy making them. And I enjoy sharing something different as well. My future videos are going to contain me playing through other songs. From doing more song building. I might go into more detail about how I write and why I write. And lyrics. Let me know if there's anything in particular you're interested in. I'm also going to be doing some improvised videos with looping using different instrumentation. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you don't know, my main channel is called Ben and Emily. I'm sure that you already know that, but if you haven't, please go check that out. Goodbye!